Guys, what's going on? A little late on this video, but I finally got some time to talk about what I picked up in the month of November. This is kind of my Black Friday haul. This is my month of November haul. There's tons of things that I decided to buy. Tons of great deals, tons of great stuff. And of course, that little pop over there in the corner. Well, not really little, but you do see that Pikachu pop. That's one of the main pops that I did pick up. That's actually the only pop I picked up all month, surprisingly. I a ton of movies, and you guys know how it goes. I want to show you my haul, and I want to show it off, and I want to talk about with you guys on what you guys picked up so without further ado it's relaxing time got my hoodie on got my chance the rapper hat on and now we are going to go straight through what i picked up in the month of november and of course again this is my black friday haul i hope you guys had a great thanksgiving as well and we're in the month of december now but first thing i did pick up was monster hunter world's ps4 game i played a little bit of this game uh not on ps4 yet uh it's fun I i've never been a big monster hunter fan but for 15 bucks i mean I heard this game's great and it's nominated for a bunch of game of the awards so might as well try it out i also did pick out fallout 76 i'm enjoying it so far not gonna lie like i i enjoy it there's a lot of issues with it this game definitely should have just stayed in beta but it, 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 it's fun you know it's not horrendous but you're having fun with it at least i'm a big fallout fan so uh one of my display cases over there actually is fallout so I'm hoping for betterness in the future, but we'll see where that goes. Uh, next thing I did pick up was Terminator 2, the 4K edition. So I've heard this is actually crap, uh, the 4K transfer. I haven't gotten the time to watch it yet. If it does suck, I guess I saw the original Blu-ray, and the original Blu-ray is in here. But I I've been trying to upgrade some things from 4K. Um, get your my thoughts on that soon. Uh, next thing I did get was Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Now, this film, I rewatched it. It's so much better than... I, I don't know why. I gave this film like a C+. Plus. I'd probably bump it up to a B. This is a very underrated animated film of this year. Very smart. Knows what it is. And the fact that I don't really like the show, Teen Titans Go to the Movies, like the movie, hey, it's a nice thing. And I do recommend if you have not checked out this film yet, try it out. But the next thing I did get to is Sicario Day of the Soldado. Now, I love this film. I, I love the original Sicario. I think it's a masterpiece. This film, a little bit below it, but I think it takes some ballsy moves. And I think what Day of Soldado does well is, well, it was five bucks on Black Friday. And that, that's a pretty good deal. I really enjoyed this film. Give it a watch. Especially, and if you've never seen the first Sicario, do give it a watch as well. Next thing we're going to have is patriots day now i really like this film uh, i think marky mark does such a great job in here jk simmons this is a very fantastic film this film brought me to tears me and my friend brought us to tears when we were watching this in uh the theaters a couple years back but on 4k i've been wanting to pick up this film i finally got it and it was again most of these are all black friday deals but the only one that wasn't a black friday deal but we did get more criterion collections i got the princess bride criterion collection and i love that it's a little storybook now i will be honest i've never seen this film surprisingly I do plan on finally watching it. It's a perfect time. Rest in peace to the writer to watch this film, though. Because, again, never seen it, and I've heard great things about it. Next thing we do have here is Hitman's Bodyguard, a film that is kind of a guilty pleasure for me. Some good action sequences, some funny moments, and Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson are just perfect chemistry and charisma all together, and plus Selma Hayek's in it. I mean, who doesn't love Selma Hayek? I mean, she, she's gorgeous, you know? Next thing I got was Love, Simon. Never seen this film. I plan on watching it soon. I got so many screens for it. I missed every single one, and I wish I would have seen it because I heard great things about this. Can't wait to watch this. Next thing I got was Hostels, another film that I've never watched. 4K, it was like five bucks on Black Friday. Why not? Christian Bale, I, one of the best actors working today. Ex Machina on 4K. This is one of my favorite films of all time, so I had to pick this up on 4K. I already had it on Blu-ray, but I had, I had to pick this up on 4K. And I remember when it won Best Visual Effects at the Oscars, I screamed with so much joy. It was one of the best monumental things that I think the Oscars have ever gotten right. Another thing I finally picked up was The Godfather. This was 10 bucks for all three films. 10 bucks for all three films. Fantastic deal right here. If you've never seen The Godfather, do check it out. One, two, one, two are fantastic. Three is it's fine. It, it's good. The next film I got was probably one of the most underrated films of this year that no one is talking about. And it's this crime that they are not pushing this film for best script, best original script. That is blind spotting. This film, it, it, it's so great. Like, I didn't know what to expect from this film. And I checked it out. I watched it. And the charisma between David Diggs and Raphael Castle are fantastic. They have a, they did the music for this film. It's fantastic. It's great. It's great direction. And it's a, it's a black 
comedy. It, like it's it's dark, it's dramatic, whatever you want to say. It's a dramedy, it's a black comedy, whatever you want to say. But it works, and it has some intense moments. But it also references it, and it just feels so real. And by the end of the film, I was like, man, that was great. Now we do have Ocean's Eight on 4K. I actually really enjoyed Ocean's 8, I thought it was fun, uh, it wasn't like anything astounding, but it was fun, and I liked seeing all of this great cast get together, I wish we would've gotten more scenes of them bonding together, but Ocean's 8 on 4K, it was like 10 bucks, why not pick it up, my mom's gonna like the film when she finally watches it. The next three things I got though are, the first three Rambos on 4K, each one was $10. This is a steal on Black Friday. I remember this was like the main thing I was going for. I, I'm a big Stallone kick right now, especially after seeing Kree 2. He's so damn good as Rocky, but Rambo, come on. You've never seen these films. This is the time to buy them. And the 4K transfer actually looks fantastic, especially on First Blood. First Blood is still the best Rocky film, and like I said, the transfer is outstanding. I hope they do the rest of the Rocky films on 4K, or maybe they already are on 4K. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to that. And really, I love the slipcovers for each and every one of these. Silver, shiny, and beautiful in all the types of ways. This thing I did pick up was one of my favorite films of this year, and that is Mandy. Nicholas Cage's Mandy. Funny story on this. I actually went to Walmart, and it was in the $5 bin. I didn't even know this came out on Blu-ray. I was like, oh, cool. Took it up to the register, rang up for 15 bucks. I was like, ah, it was in the $5 bin. He's like, oh, yeah, you're all right. It's a Nicholas Cage film. It's probably in the $5 bin. Dude gave me it for $5. So it's funny on that part that they gave me this film for $5, but this film is worth more than $5. This film is easily worth like 30 bucks, but it's like 15 bucks originally. If you have not watched Manny, do give it a watch. It's an acid trip of a film, but it's, it's outstanding. And the first hour is very... It's slow, I'll be honest on that, but the back half is excellent, and I feel like the first half did make up, the second half made up for the back half just because it made you care about everyone, and this is one of Nicolas Cage's best performance. I love, love, love Mandy, and I love the slipcover and that. A film that I'm finally glad I picked up was Annabelle Creation. This is the second Annabelle film. It's the prequel to the whole Conjuring universe. I love this film. I thought it was a blast to watch. It's a fun horror film with some great scares in there. And man, I cannot wait to see what this guy does next with Shazam, one of my most anticipated films of next year. Next one I got, I still have not opened the Steelbook. It is American Werewolf in London, a film that I have never seen. I cannot wait to watch this film for the first time. I've heard so many good things. It's the Steelbook from Best Buy. It was like five bucks. Might as well pick it up. Next thing I did get, though, was the classic monsters. It's every single classical monster. So you got Dracula, Frankenstein, the mummy, Invisible Man, Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera, and Creature from Black Lagoon. Personally, for me, Invisible Man and Creature from Black Lagoon have always been my favorite, but this was like originally like 80 bucks and I got it for 30. Pretty good deal. I love all these films. Big childhood thing of mine. But of course, the next thing I did get was the Incredibles 2 4K Steelbook, and oh my god. I also did get the Blu-ray, but my sister has the Blu-ray right now. Um, I, I had to upgrade to 4K because there, there's something special, and I actually, initially I didn't know how to feel about the Steelbook. Once I got it in person, I was like, this is actually a really nice Steelbook. The design, the cover on it, it might just be a washing machine, but it's a beautiful one at that. And of course, the next thing I have for you guys, this is the deal that I was looking forward to on Black Friday. I didn't know this was going to happen, but I went on Amazon, I looked it up, and this thing's usually almost 200 bucks. I got the Harry Potter 8 film collection, 4K, Blu-ray, and the digital copy for only 80 bucks. That is outstanding. When this is usually a $200 set. Thank you, Amazon. I've been wanting the Harry Potters on 4Ks. I'm on a kick with them right now after Crimes of Grindelwald. Watch. I'm like the only one that actually enjoyed it. But now I can go back and enjoy some of the most beautiful films ever made. And then my last film that I did pick up in the month of November. It's a steelbook. It was like $3. It's a Blu-ray. And it's a very underrated horror film that I find to be tons of fun. That is Jennifer's Body. Now, it's still in there. It's still in the wrapping. I didn't take it out, but I love the Steelbook design on here. Uh, that's why I was doing these weird designs, and I was really mad. I almost picked up um, the Poltergeist. They had a Poltergeist one, and on the front, it says 1977. Then you look on the back. It's actually the remake, and Best Buy almost tricked me into buying that, but I didn't buy it because I recognized it as a remake, and I didn't want to get that, but Jennifer's Body, I love the Steelbook. I think it's great. I love this film. I've not watched it in a little while, though, so now I can indulge in Jennifer's body and all that stuff. But that is my actual Blu-ray haul, Funko Pop haul. There's the one Pikachu pop over there. Um, 
That's my haul, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this. It means a ton. Let me know what your guys' favorite things that I picked up. Was there anything that I missed this month that you guys think I should get to it? December's going to be a big month. You got Christmas. You got tons of gifts coming in, plus tons of more deals also coming. You got Venom. You got Mission Impossible. I'm looking forward to all those, guys. So thank you guys again so much for watching this. If you guys are new here, please, let's talk about what did you guys pick up in the month of November and on Black Friday. I can't wait to hear what you guys got. And of course, you guys, you guys know where I'm going to go with this. Check out Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there, you guys can get into advanced experience you check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but uh, guys of course until next time look out for more reviews soon and stay classy